Hello you all, I'm Black Witch Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And as the self-designated crystal lady on these YouTube streets, I felt like it was necessary for me to do a video on why your crystal is not working. Now keep in mind, crystals work differently for different people. So this video is just my opinion and my experience with working with crystals, how you really get to activate it to the point where when you touch it, you get chick, can y'all see that? Well, to the point where you touch it, you get chills, you feel an energy on you. The crystal of the day is the Black Obsidian, which is a truth enhancing crystal. A strong protective stone, it forms a shield against negativity, blocks physical attacks that others may cause, absorbs negative energies from the environment and people, and draws out mental stress and tension. It stimulates growth on all levels, urging exploration of the unknown and opening new horizons. And you can get your Black Obsidian from blackwitchyaya.com. So I know a lot of people, we purchase crystals, we get our crystals from blackwitchyaya.com. We kind of expect it just for it to turn on like a remote control. I have an amethyst here because this was my first type of crystal. So I'm naturally always drawn to amethyst. I have a connection with amethyst, but that's a different video for a different day. And we automatically get the crystal and we're like, all right, so you said you do stuff, right? Just, you know, do it like, hello. When we first have to understand the nature element that comes in with crystals. For example, you know that we are one with nature. Nature is one with us. We are one with nature, so on and so forth until infinity. So with that connection, anything that stems from nature, whether it's energies, any deities that you praise, any orisha that's connected to nature you have to make that initial connection in order for that flow to be there so think about it like this your crystal is a link you are a link you have to hook that link there think about it with the infinity sign it's not going to flow if there's a piece missing so for myself on blackwitchyaya.com if you ever purchase a crystal from me if you plan on purchasing it just know or you may already know there's a herbal mixture that comes with the crystal inside the paper and that's the third stage of the cleansing process that i do just because since i'm technically the last person that touched your crystal i want my energy away from it and i want it to be solely cleansed and ready for you and that goes for even if you get a crystal from a shop you don't know who hands touched a crystal before you what energy they had so it's important to cleanse them if you follow me on instagram you guys may always see i'm trying out different ways to cleanse my crystals if it's a nice sunny day i'll sun cleanse them sometimes i'll do a smoke bath it's just different ways i feel called to cleanse a group of crystals just because i don't want to wrap them and send them and it's like this is just a energy filthy crystal we have here I'll cleanse them in Florida water. I'll do a sage smoke bath. I created a boil and in the crystals that you get from my website, it comes with a dry rub. And this is for people who may not like the smell of sage for people who live in Alaska and they're like, girl, what sun? What do you mean sunbathe? We don't have sun. This is just an easier and an alternative way to cleanse your crystals. If you have someone who touched your crystals and you don't like the energy. I remember one time my mom, she was just learning about crystals. So she just picked picked out a crystal of mine to wear because it matched her outfit wear those type of people and I was like you can't I'll get you I'll make you a crystal but this is my crystal you can't wear it and even though my mom doesn't have bad energy it's just her energy encountered it and with that crystal being connected to you it's a piece of you so your energy is on it as well I had to put it in the sun cleanse it and I had to tell her no offense I'm not saying anything about you it's just you know the crystals carry in that's the same for even if you're at a shop you see a crystal you like but you're like nah and put it back down your energy is now tapped onto that crystal so if someone else buys it you're tapped into the energy and all the energies that's within the crystal to cleanse your crystals you can do different things whichever fits and is easier and just flows better with you almost everybody that's in this spiritual gang gang we have Florida water. You can use Florida water to wipe it down to remove energy. Make sure you set some intention while you're doing it. Just don't grab some Florida water and be like, all right, let me just get rid of you. You can say, I remove all energy that is associated with this crystal. This crystal is for Stacy Benjamin. 
and this crystal will work and be connected with myself stacy benjamin you could put it on whatever chakra that's associated with for the amethyst the third eye chakra you can do that if you don't have floor the water you can run water over it and do the same thing set intentions you can either say it out loud or say it to yourself make sure you just built that bond and that connection with the crystal because this is going to be your baby so there's has to be a connection set for so that may be one of the reasons why your crystals aren't working just because you grabbed it and go it's just not something you could put batteries in and it operates you have to make that connection with it and this is symbolic to our connection with nature because your crystals come from nature or at least they should be coming from nature so you have to build that connection with it make sure you cleanse your crystals and along with cleansing them you want to make sure that you are charging them and recharging them to keep that connection going think of it as like a human a being your cousin you may talk to your cousin every single day but if y'all go three weeks without talking to each other it's kind of like hi i mean you're still my cousin we still have that connection but we don't have that strong connection we had before when we were constantly in communication constantly in connection so if you see it's a full moon set your crystals outside remind the crystal what it's for and just continuously make that connection with the crystal you can re restate whatever affirmation you gave to the crystal restate the purpose make sure you charge it back to yourself when beyonce said she charged her crystals in the full moon literally you want to make sure that you're doing that just to keep that energy there so cleanse it and also recharge it make sure you're constantly touching it making sure it's around you if it's in your purse every so often just touch it rub on it just to make sure that connection is still there because it's vibrational so as soon as you touch it you'll feel that connection to it another reason why your crystal may not be working if you've done all those steps it may not be the crystal that you are looking for for the specific problem where you feel that it's not working so you just want to make sure when you purchase your crystals you are purchasing the one that is meant for you sometimes you may see a crystal and you're naturally called to it you don't want to just grab a crystal because you've seen somebody else wear it and it looks cute. Sometimes your crystals may look a little crazy, but it's called to you and you know that you need it. So make sure you're picking out crystals that work for you and that are meant for you. You also want to make sure that you are, along with keeping the connection for your crystals, you want to make sure that you're protecting your crystal as well. So you're just not throwing it all over the place, not really taking care of it. You want to make sure you utilize the crystal and that you keep it in your space, keep it in your aura, keep it in your energy, your proximity. Make sure that you're constantly around your crystal. Sometimes we may purchase a crystal and just be like, all right, bye. You want to make sure that you're keeping that connection strong. And I feel like this is the most important part. You have to believe in your crystal. I know sometimes people just call them rocks and they're just like, oh, are these rocks supposed to do something. Or you just got a crystal because somebody else got it and you just, just kind of feel like it's supposed to do most of the work. You want to make sure that you believe in your crystal and you believe in the potential because your crystal is not going to work for someone that's just like, child i guess it's supposed to do something they said it's supposed to heal you so uh you want to make sure that you believe in it and you know its purpose and you believe that it's going to happen and it's going to provide you with the energy that you need so for example for people who may believe that crystals don't work or they are just there first things first why do you think earth the universe god gods will produce something like this for it just to be decoration it obviously has a purpose. Everything on this earth has a purpose. Nothing is just there to be there. And the crystal's purpose is, of course, for human beings, for spiritual beings, for spiritual purposes. Also, think about it like this. For people who do natural detoxes, sienna leaf tea, that comes from the earth when you ingest it, it works, right? So with this coming from the earth, of course, it's going to work as well. They both stem from the earth. They both serve a purpose beyond their actual placement or situation so you all those are just a few reasons as to why your crystal may not be working for you you have to cleanse it charge it to yourself recharge it keep it protected believe in it make sure you keep it just for you and it's just not an accessory that everybody can touch make sure it's just not an accessory that's sitting around unless you literally just want it for an accessory but if you really want to take advantage of it and utilize the powers make sure you take your time to make that connection with it because we have a connection with nature so of course with crystals we are going to be able to create that connection as well because it stems from nature it's created by nature but thank you guys so much for tuning into this video like i always say as above so below as within so without as the universe of the soul until next time you guys i shave